Things are finally settling down for this Tuscaloosa couple. This man behind me stuck in a quarantine nightmare. Halfway through a relaxing cruise through the Pacific, they learned the deadly coronavirus was on board. More than a month later, they are finally back in Alabama, and they tell me it's all because of one state leader. From cruising the Hawaiian Islands to a chaotic quarantine. It was supposed to be a 15 day cruise, and it was when we got back here, and it was 33 days later. John and Marsha Hightower were among 3,500 others on the Grand Princess cruise ship brought back to Oakland, California, after 21 people on board tested positive for COVID-19. After eight days quarantined in their cabin on the docked boat, the Tuscaloosa couple was loaded on a bus, then a plane headed to Georgia. I asked the pilot, where are we going? And he said we were going to Dobbins. Uh, Air Force Base, and this was the first time that I found out for sure where we were going. We we were never told anything. Uh, it was complete lack of information. And when they got to the base, it wasn't any better. That first day was pretty bad. Uh, the people with the uh, CDC and such were really good. They were courteous and nice, and they were trying to do everything they could. But they were given no resources at all. The couple, in their late 70s, spent the next four days behind these gates in an old military officer's motel. No soap, towels, or clean clothes. Their luggage was sent to the wrong state. My mind is still messed up from this. It was very stressful. Their very persistent daughter reached out to several state officials. Secretary of State John Merrill called the couple for some information, and the next day came to the rescue. On March 16th, the charter bus arrived to bring the high towers and five other Alabamians home. If I ever see Mr. Merrill, I'm going to have to give him a big hug. Being home, I'm just thrilled. I'm just happy. Uh, no problem. I'll just <laughs> I'll be happy to stay here. I don't want to go anywhere. <laughs> And the high towers learned later on our state health department had to agree to be responsible for all seven Alabamians moving forward, making sure they remain self quarantined until March 24th, which is next Tuesday.